Hey you guys, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to thank you so much for watching our videos on this channel. I say our, I mean mine, but the Christ in me <laughs> led me to do these videos. So I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank you for sharing such productive comments and constructive criticism. And I also want to thank you for the suggestions that you've given um, and, and telling me to give it a try and my um, praying in the spirit, slowing down, and also trying to sing. And I've tried to do both, and I'm going to do it here. It kind of feels silly. I tell you what, praying in the spirit and speaking in tongues is a humbling experience because, experience because you have to trust in the Lord. You have to trust in the Holy Spirit to <clears throat> give meaning to the utterance that's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> And some people say it sounds like baby talk. I tell you what, whenever I first um, prayed with uh, a church for the gift of speaking of tongues, they told me, they said, you know, just give the spirit utterance, you know, just talk, baby talk, basically. Just make sounds with your mouth. I thought they were crazy. I'm like, are you kidding me? I am not going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm going home. <laughs> I did. I left. It was like at the end of a service and I went home. And then um, once I read one of the articles and I, I put it on my website, I'm oh, not sorry. My website, my my YouTube channel. I put the article on there in, about speaking in tongues. It basically told me that you can't speak two languages at once, so you do have to make sounds. It's not you don't want to sit there and try to speak English and then the Holy Spirit kick in. It just doesn't work that way. And so they were right. So whenever I started speaking in tongues, um, I read that you needed to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. And I have been baptized in the Holy Spirit. I had a pastor lay hands on me, and I asked to receive the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, um, and then that's it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a matter of asking the Holy Spirit to abide in you, and then you receive it on faith. And just like you would, Romans 9, to, 9 through 10, Romans 10, 9 through 10 says, for salvation, we have to believe in our hearts that Jesus died and rose again for us, and that we'll have eternal life. And so when we confess that with our heart, I mean, sorry, we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth, then we re receive our salvation. So you're just speaking words and believing with your heart, and so then we receive our salvation. Same thing with the Holy Spirit. Whenever we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive that on faith, and then we begin to confess with our mouth that we've received it. Something to the effect of, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, and I receive it now and on faith, and I confess with my mouth that I have received the Holy Spirit and then I speak in act of faith so I I basically just bowed my head and I was like like just making sounds and what was really cool is that just kind of kicked in and it was like it startled me at first and it was like downloaded into my spirit and I had this whole nother this heavenly language and it was amazing so that's my little my little backstory okay so um in regards to um the speaking praying in tongues and stuff for you those of you that are not familiar with it I learned a few things about it one is that it's for unbelievers and so for me to pray in the spirit to someone or I'm sorry in front of someone that is an unbeliever it shows that there's a heavenly language and not everybody is open to hearing it many people are still skeptical but that's what it's a sign for according to first Corinthians 14 21 through 22 and then the next thing was um, many many people talk about you know need an interpreter not everything that I say is going to be interpreted by you or someone else. The fact of the matter is, is that if you're in church, you don't want to stand up in a church service and disrupt church service with with what sounds like to people babble or um, <laughs> the heavenly language, but it gives, does them nothing. It does nothing for them. Then you just look silly and they're thinking you're crazy. So you don't want to stand up in church according to First Peter or First Corinthians. 14, 27, 28, we just need to keep quiet unless someone has been given the gift of interpretations and, and has an interpretation for you from the Lord. I apologize, not necessarily the gift, but okay. So then the third thing was that um, in Acts 2, 4 through 8, that shares that whenever the, I think it's the apostles, spoke in tongues, 
the multitude that heard them speaking in tongues heard them in their language. So I might be witnessing, ministering, loving on right now many different nations. I could begin to speak in tongues and five different people hear me in their own language. That's up to the Lord. Okay, so that's what I've learned so far, scripturally, and through other teachings. All right, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pray. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. If you would please like, subscribe, and um, hit the notification bell, comment if you need prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those watching. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of speaking in tongues, the praying in the Spirit. I thank you, Father God, that praying in the Spirit edifies me. I thank you, Father, that... It's you, Holy Spirit, praying on our behalf, and I, I thank you for your prayer. I thank you, Father God, for opening eyes and ears and softening hearts. Thank you, Father, for binding the enemy, and um, that your Holy Spirit is here and shows up, Lord, and allows me to utter um, just beautiful heavenly language on a consistent basis all the time, Lord God. And I thank you, Father, that you haven't failed me yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Heavenly Father, I just thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, so, in order for me just to start praying in the Spirit, many of you know that it's just a matter of me opening my mouth if you open your mouth. Then you begin speaking. Some people have a, a shorter prayer language. Maybe you... Whatever. Um, I can't. I have a difficult time doing it over and over again because I don't have a condensed version. Um, but if if you just have a few words or a few sounds, that you might say them over and over again. There's nothing wrong with that. Just keep doing it. Um, I believe it's Smith Wigglesworth. He's the one. This if you if you don't know who he is, look him up. But he's amazing. He's done a lot of things for for the Lord. The Lord has worked through him in so many ways, brought people back from the dead. Okay. But Smith Wigglesworth said, when asked um, how often he prays, he said he doesn't go twenty minutes without. So it's important for us to pray in the spirit. Once you receive that gift, pray all the time. And I tend to, <laughs> I tend to sit there quietly and pray. She'll just pray with that, but like in a whisper, almost, almost like you can't even hear it. But I continue to pray. And my son yesterday asked me, he's like, "Are you are you speaking Spinglish? Why are you speaking Spinglish?" <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but that's what it was. He was like, "Why are you speaking in the Spinglish?" <laughs> So, and my toddler. Okay. All right. So, and then um, you, someone said to try it slower. So, I'm going to speak slower. It's starting to speed up. And I hear in um, my first video, Portatai or something to that effect, uh, quite a bit. I, I obviously I don't have the gift of interpretation. So if you guys want to pray for me to receive the gift of interpretation, agree with me in that prayer, I would much appreciate it. Um, I believe in Mark 16, 17 that we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, that we shall speak in new tongues, and we shall cast out devils. I have been blessed with the opportunity to do each of those, and now I'm reaching out more. I want more of the Lord. I want more of His gifts, and I would love to be able to interpret. So I want to thank you for agreeing with me in that, and I'll agree with you as well. Okay, and then um, someone asked me to sing. Okay, singing is a, <laughs> it's, it's kind of embarrassing because it's it just, I don't know. I, I mean, I can carry a tune, but it's hard to carry a tune <laughs> with this I don't even have a tune that I'm following. So, so that I sip it by the air, I don't know. I was put about the air, I don't know. I was at 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 the air, I so I don't, it just, it doesn't seem to flow for me. <laughs> I wish I could sound as beautiful as some people do, but it doesn't work for me. I don't even have a rhythm, so 
maybe if there was a tune I could go to. I don't know. I don't know. Holy Spirit, help me out here. All right. And then um, I think that's it. Uh, I think those are the, are the suggestions that I had. But really, whenever I start to pray, I, I feel like whenever I pray, it disconnects. Like uh, I'll start out and my mind is really, um, I'm just thinking about, you know, what I'm saying. And then I'm praying and then once I get in an emotional state, it's almost like I detach mentally. I'm no longer thinking about the things that are coming out of my mouth. Like, I don't have to think about the words. They're just coming. I just think about, you know, I, I don't have a, a, how do I say this? Like, right now. I wasn't really thinking about anything else whenever I was doing that. It's just, I was just speaking. But whenever I start getting deeper into prayer, like if I'm praying for, you know, say, let's say you or my family or someone that's not feeling well or um, a catastrophic event or something that's just like has a deeper importance to me, then my mind really starts, like when your mind gets busy, my mind really gets busy, then my, my words start to flow with a different, almost like a different tone. Um, my kids were explaining to me that it sounds deeper and um, not Hebrew, but sometimes it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just different. But it's not like English. When you speak in English, you kind of have a thought of what it is you want to say, and then it comes out of your mouth. You, you have to think about the words that you're going to say. And when I'm playing, praying in the Holy Spirit, I'm not thinking about the words that are coming out, but I am thinking about thoughts that I'm having, but my thoughts are in English. So it's weird. It's weird. So I'm going okay, to pray in the Spirit. Again, Pardon me. And something that sits in my mind from another comment was that I rock. I tend to rock. I think I saw somebody doing that in church one time. I think it was like music that they were rocking to. And so then I guess, <clears throat> I guess it just, um, I guess it kind of gives me like a rhythm, like I'm uh, almost like music. And so I do that sometimes. It just gives me something to do while I'm praying. And then there's other times that I'm humbly flat on the ground. Like I feel like I can't get any flatter. I feel like I need to be flatter than the floor because I'm coming to the Lord with such desire, or such desires for prayer, for healing, for um, others, myself, and I just I want him to know that I am. Should I say unworthy? Because I know in Jesus, you know, um, Jesus is perfect, and 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 the Lord sees us in Christ through Christ's glasses, through like Jesus' glasses. He he sees us as righteous children. But I still feel like, you know, I just got to, I got to get low. <laughs> I got to be, I got to be down to the floor and just pray. And so, um, sometimes I just lay myself out on the floor flat, as flat as I can. And my face in the ground and I just pray through tears or anything else, whatever emotion that I'm experiencing at the time. But <laughs> 
Pardon me. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Oh, I humbly thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Um. I began that prayer thinking about different things and um, I began to pray that the Lord bless you guys and reach into different aspects of your life and help you where you need help and and this is all in my mind in my thought process I'm praying in my mind I don't know what the Holy Spirit was praying I'm not sure of that right now um, when I started feeling more emotional I was praying for the people that are displaced right now, displaced by the hurricanes and the storms, the things that are going on in this country where people don't have homes and food and shelter. But it was it was um, where my heart started to feel heavier. So um, I think you can see a difference. I feel a difference whenever I'm praying. All right. Well, um, I thank you. I thank you for watching again. And um, I, I'm so blessed to have brothers and sisters in Christ out there. And if you don't know the Lord, please. It's not about religion, y'all. <laughs> it's not. It's not religion. And religion, I think you have to do things to be accepted. God's come as you are. Jesus Christ paid the price. He just wants you to accept that he paid the price. Believe that he paid the price. And accept them. It's not. It's not a. It's not a difficult thing. It's not a science. It's just a faith. You know something greater is out there. You know. We all know. When you're sick. When your your stomach's hurting you. You're leaning over a toilet, vomiting, feeling a horribly. You're like God. Please help me. Why are you calling out to a God? You're struggling in your finances. Maybe you don't have a lot of food or your paycheck to paycheck. And you're like, oh, somebody please help me. You know, you just, you, you want your creator. You do. And we all feel that. There's something out there. And whenever I found that heavenly language, that solidified it for me. I mean, I knew that Jesus was out there, but I had a moment where... Um, I had lost my home, I lost my vehicle, I lost, I was praying food on the table, 
and um, I remember crying and being uh, just beside myself, you know, and even though I know the Lord existed, and I'd known it from the moment I was a child, it was kind of like, you know, the sky's blue, that's kind of how I was raised, you just, you know, you wake up and you pray, you spend time with the Lord, or whatever, but, and there was a moment where I was standing inside my home that I had lost, that was foreclosing around me, um, I think I was sweeping, and I... I had, it was in my mind. It was like one of my, my own thoughts. It was like, ha, look at you. After everything's said and done, you're going to look back and laugh about the fact that you have been praying and crying out to a God that doesn't even exist. And I was like, what? That is not along my thinking at all. I mean, it was just an interjected thought. And at that very moment, when I was down at my lowest, which the enemy often likes to do, it's imagining I've been tripped, and my face is already in the ground. He wanted to shove my face in the gravel, just, just a little bit more. But because I was questioning light, I mean, even my husband's faith was shaken. He's like, why would God let you get to this point? You know, where you lose everything and you felt like you were trying so hard to do right. To live a right life. You know, live by the commandments. Live by the Bible. Going to church. Studying the word. When you feel like you're just doing what you felt needs to be done. And yet you're struggling. Why would, why would God leave us with children to feed and no food? Like, why? I mean, he didn't. I mean, we had food. But we had to pray it on the table, pretty much. But his faith was tested. So... Because my faith was tested, I was questioning light. When he, enemy, interjected that thought into my head, I recognized it as not one of my own because it did not come along with my train of thought, of, of a normal train of thought. I was like, uh-uh, I rebuke that right now in Jesus' name. And I realized that was darkness. Darkness just tried to creep into my mind to bring me down. So if there's darkness, there's light, right? So hallelujah, I was like... He snuck out of his hiding place to punch me down into the gravel a little bit more and open my eyes to the fact that there is a Christ Jesus. And so then it just made me pray, pray even harder and reach out to the Lord even more. And I tell you, testimony after testimony, I prayed and received, prayed and received, prayed and received. And, you know, I called them miracles. They answered prayers, and it was just a blessing. And I tell you, once I received that gift of the Holy Spirit, the praying in tongues, well, then it was just, to me, undeniable. I'm like, how else would I receive this language? Why am I, well, how can I speak like this if there's not a creator, if there's not Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, if he's not real? Because I cried out to him. I didn't pray in some other person's name or... Any else, any, ask anyone else. I ask my Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, if I could please receive that gift that He promised, and He gave it to me. So, um, I also want to just kind of point out that there's many people, and it's I, I don't share all those comments. You know, I, I say I don't want any negativity on the page, but I have people tell me that it's not of God, or um, that... Um, in my initial video, I shared that I have children, I have a family, and in the middle of the night, I went into my bathroom, and I kind of just shut all the doors for privacy, and to be quiet, not to wake anyone up, and to have a moment of silence, and if you're a mom, <laughs> or you have roommates, or anything, sometimes that's hard to get, so, <coughs> perhaps I didn't have space in my closet, but I had space in my bathroom, so I went in there, and I shut the door, I bowed my head, and... I asked for the gift of speaking in, in tongues. And whenever I did that, I received. And people, whenever I shared that, that testimony, then I had many people say, Oh no, you're, you're speaking in tongues is from the enemy and that's bad spirits and unclean spirits and all that stuff. Please tell me that if I pray to the Lord God Almighty and He gave me a gift that you're not saying it's coming from somewhere else because, um, yeah, I don't think that's right. And praying to God in the bathroom, I tell you, a lot of my only private time will be in the restroom or the shower, okay? So, if you have never called anyone or texted anyone or spoken to your children or your parents from a private place like that, 
Well, not if you haven't. I'm sure some of, uh, probably every every single one of you has, whether it's text or talk or something, you know? I mean, come on, you guys, get real. Our Heavenly Father doesn't want us to call him, call out to him from wherever we are. I mean, if we're in the pits of hell, if we are, we are abducted, if we are anywhere, if you're in the bathroom, if you're in the yard, wherever you are, he wants you to talk to him. He says, pray without ceasing, y'all. Pray without ceasing. That means in the bathroom, in the shower, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, wherever you are in the world, you can talk to him. That's biblical. So, yes, I prayed in the bathroom to my creator, my father. My kids can come talk to me at the bathroom. If they call out to me from the bathroom and they want to tell me their ABCs or they want to tell me that they have hurt feelings or whatever, then I have absolutely no problem talking to them. It's okay. It doesn't bother me where they talk to me from. It's okay. So wherever you are in your life, whether you're having a difficult time with things, whether you are in the bathroom or you are near a bathroom or you are feeling like, you know, the, the gum on the bottom of someone's shoe, it doesn't matter. The Lord God Almighty loves you unconditionally. Every part of you. He knows you by name. He knows the number of the hairs on your head. It's scripture. Look it up. Don't hesitate to give your life to him, y'all. It's just, there's not a lot of time left in this world. There's Bible prophecy coming to pass right now. Science and the Bible are lining up. That's how real it's getting. I mean, really. Yeah, yeah look into things like Revelation 12. Read that. Google it. Revelation 12, Rapture, End Times. Start start doing your research, y'all. Open your eyes because he says if you're not looking up, you don't go in the rapture. You have to look for this. There will be a time where he comes for his church before this world gets really bad. It's not really bad yet. So I just want to thank you again for watching this video. If you feel... <sighs> Like, you don't know where you would go tomorrow if you died tonight, if you go to heaven or hell. I just want you to consider giving your life to the Lord. You can pray with me. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for me. I thank you that you died for my sins and you rose again. Please wash me with your blood. I ask you to come live in my heart. And be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. And Jesus is my Lord. Tell someone Jesus is my Lord. Confess it with your mouth. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and you have eternal life. Hallelujah. So if you prayed, if you received the Lord, please comment. If you want me to keep it private, comment and ask me to keep it private. And I'll pray for you. If you want to share it, I'll share it. We can get others to pray for you. This is the time to support each other, reach out to each other, love on each other in Christ. The second thing is uh, um, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's something else that you want. Um, the enemy messes with your soul and he messes with your body. But once you become Christian, your spirit is sealed. And we want to have the Holy Spirit come live inside of you. So, Father God, I just thank you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I ask for this baptism Lord I received this baptism on faith and I thank you for the evidence of speaking in tongues in Jesus name amen and if you'd like to begin trying to speak in tongues then you can do that and I want to encourage you to check out the link that's inside my video at the bottom of the video and through some of the comments and once you um, click on that and you read through it if you have questions or anything please don't hesitate to comment those questions as well and I'll do what I can to help you receive or activate or answer questions or whatever it might be so god bless you please like share subscribe hit the notification bell follow the um other videos that i have please look at the other videos that i have and see if any of them set well with your spirit if you have questions or comments please leave them all right god bless you guys thank you so much bye